but the news is better than it was a few hours ago. There is some good news, but there's still a little bit of bad news. Uh, basically, Flights are now taking off and landing here at BWI. According to airport officials, airlines began to resume their operations shortly before 9 o'clock this morning. That's arrivals and departures. Now, take a look at the board here in the terminal. See all that red? That's the bad news. Dozens and dozens of flights, hundreds, thousands of passengers are still impacted by this FAA ground stop. We stopped counting at about 150 different flights here. According to FlightAware between Reagan and BWI, there are about 200 flights experiencing delays. This, of course, came from the FAA issuing a national ground stop because of a computer system meltdown. The airport says they received an alert of that early this morning and there was a flight in the air at the time, a red eye from LA, which did land. There were also passengers here at the terminal who arrived too late to be able to turn around and make other plans. Here's what some of them told us. It has ruined my day. I have a business in Raleigh, North Carolina and I commute to work by airplane. I live here and to get here and to keep having my flight delayed has just totally ruined my day. Kind of would like to have things be a little more reliable. And in this age, this, this day and age, you'd think that technology would, you know, you'd have backup systems, you'd have, you'd have uh, more uh, resiliency in, in your uh, computer systems. We talked to some folks a short time ago who were also impacted by the Southwest Airlines computer meltdown over the holidays. Uh, that woman said this time there's no one to go to with your frustrations, no one to help you get reimbursed uh, for, for costs incurred. There was one group of folks flying for a woman's birthday who had to take a cab from Reagan here to BWI when their first flight was canceled only to find this flight had also been delayed.